So welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm working in my friend's driveway again and we'll be painting my new rear spats. These are the F, the F Sport ones because mine, yeah, it's seen better days. And start using self tappers, we're going to do this properly with some bolts, nuts, and washers. Alright, let's go ahead and sand this down. So I actually forgot to plug my mic in technically because my mic was actually in the headphone slot instead of the mic slot. So I do apologize for that. So majority of the video now will be a voiceover. So I'm just pretty much talking about how I covered my patio with this Harbor Freight little plastic thing I got for like a dollar. That way it won't have overspray on the cars and right here I'm showing that I'm hanging it up on this fishing line which was technically a good thing and a bad thing but it was work so and then I was wiping it down with some alcohol that way I can prep everything so as you can see I'm using a filler primer that I got from Harper Freight and I'm doing I think about three to four coats within 10 minutes in between each coat so I actually learned some techniques through Paint Society, so huge shout out to them. They're doing it by quadrant, so as you can kind of see, I'm doing like one part, and then the third, second part, and the third part, and then use a hit all at once, so it's kind of stripey at first when you start, but then the, like, the first coat I go all the way across, second coat I do the quadrant, so I split it to three parts, and then coat three I go to the full across as well. That way it makes it even and coverage part. They explain everything in their video, so and this actually turned out to be the, the best paint job I did on with rattle cans, so that's pretty nice. Obviously, I'm showing it when it's complete, about the three to four coats. I forgot what I did. And I let it sit for about 45 minutes. It was kind of a hot day and windy day. So I let it sit about 45 minutes before I actually hit it with the base coat. So after letting it sit for about 45-30 minutes, depending on your weather, I wet sand it. I forget the grids, I do apologize. I think I did like, it was a 600 grit wet sand. And I actually use a glass cleaner to wipe it down first because that's what Paint Society likes to use. I just copy what they use. So I use a glass cleaner as my water technically and I wet sanded it down. That way it's smooth and ready for my base coat. After I wet sand it, I hit it with a with a tech towel. Of course, I let it fluff out a little bit. I opened it up. I let it air out a little bit before I did it. Of course, what a tech towel does just removes any of the lint and everything. That way you have a clean, smooth primer coat for your base coat. So I didn't record me painting the base coat, but it's about the same, you know, 10 minutes in between each coat, about three to four coats, and this is how they turned out. I think it looked pretty good for how it did. So I'll go ahead and hit it with the clear. And as you know, I use my favorite two, uh, 2K clear clear coat by Maxi. The results usually are tremendous. So me and my dumb butt, I put the microphone in the wrong slot. I actually put it through the headphone jack instead of the microphone jack. So most of the entire video will be just a voiceover until this part. I apologize for that. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing that voiceover, but at least the ending clip will be better. <laughs> so this is how it turned out. And that's not bad. I definitely would go outside and show you, but it's so hot outside, so I don't want to go outside. The gloss turned out really good. It's definitely not perfect, as you can tell what the fishing line was. But it's not bad for a rattle can job. The gloss isn't bad at all. I'm gonna let this cure for about a week, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut and buff it. So, over not bad for a rattle can, in my opinion, anyways. The gloss, not bad, not amazing, but not bad. Dual. All right, <clears throat> let's give this, let's give this a week, and we'll come back and cut and buff it. This is how it looks in the sun before we start wet sanding it. It's been about a week since I painted this, maybe like six days. It's kind of hard to see in the white. I feel like the dark won't give it justice, so it's definitely not perfect. But, hey, not bad for a rattle can. 
So we're gonna follow the instructions how Paint Society has their cut and buff. Thankfully for them, making a lot of YouTube videos. It's a gloss. They said that it's gonna be a 2000 grit, then a 3000 grit wet sand, and then an 8000 grit to finish it off and then polish. I don't think I have an 8000 grit, so I'm gonna just stop at 5000. So go ahead and wet sand this. So I'm gonna do this in the comfort of my kitchen because I don't have another spray bottle for water. I'm gonna clean this off and we'll start the process. 2000 grit with a dirt block for more control. This is how it looks after the 3000 grit. Super smooth now. It's not that funny how smooth it is. All right, let's do the other side and then finish it off on 5000. Pretty much, I don't really apply a lot of pressure. I just let the sandpaper do its magic. Do it lightly over. And look, you can't even hear nothing like it's smooth. The 2000 grit is supposed to remove any of the dirt and all that stuff and perfection. The 3000 is supposed to refine it, and usually it's an 8000 to finish, but 5000 is all I got. And 5000 can be used before the 8000 if you want that, but 8000 will refine it better. But like I said, I don't have 8000, so I'm going to go with 5000 and just polish it after that. So let's do that. 5, 5000. Here's the result from the 5,000 grit. It's like really, really smooth now. I still have that orange peel look. I guess I gotta work on my painting skill a little bit, but not bad. All right, so now I'm gonna do is set it on the side and then we're gonna polish this. Now all that's left is to polish it. I'm gonna be using this McGuire Dual Action Cleaner Polisher because I've been using it for a while. Polisher from Harbor Freight. The McGuire's power. From Harbor Freight. All right, let's get this final step. And this is how they look after polishing. I will say this is probably my best job I did of painting. Definitely not perfect, 100% not perfect, but it gets the job done. So I will say it's a win in my books. <laughs> All right, that's how it looks. That's not bad, it feels amazing. Like I said, that's probably the best rattle can, so thank you Paint Society for ch teaching rattle can paint jobs. Cause I ain't showing up professional, don't have a compressor or a paint gun or any of that stuff, so. All right, let's compare the color of the car paint. I wish I could coat these or protect them with wax, but you're not supposed to protect them or coat them a month after paint. So I gotta wait the three more weeks, so rip. Excuse the overly bright white because it's a beautiful day here in the south. So as you can tell my old one, it went bye-bye. I guess I think I told the story. I don't know. I think some for some reason when my company pays for a guy to clean the cars for hand washing it, he might have pushed it too pushed, pushed it down too hard and it fell on the road and broke and it noticed it till like what four ways like white gone. So that's why I bought this one, the F Sport one, which is pretty much the same thing, but it has this lip and it's definitely way better material. It's like not hollow. See, right there it's not hollow like this one. The whole bottom of it is hollow. Hopefully you can see it. The inside's hollow. Whenever I install it, I'll definitely show it, but here's how they look side by side. The paint, paint flow dirty, so excuse that. There's door two right there. It's gonna be hard to see on camera, of course, because the sun's blinding it, but I like it. Pretty good. I said, get the job done. All right, the next clip that we're gonna see is gonna be installing it, because I would hate for you guys just to see a whole video of me just painting it and not installing it as a separate video. So I'm gonna include it all in one video for you guys. So in this clip, let's install these. As we're prepping for the show, we're getting a new roof done as well. This is the OG location at my parents' place, and look at this new garage my brother set up. Looks so good. I miss home now. This is working my car. It's so much better than the apartments. 
usually came with a hole in the bottom, I just made it really long and made it go all the way through. So that's what I'm gonna use that hole for. I'll be using the provided hardware for at least one of the bolts. The provided bolts, washers, and nuts. So playing the change, I'm not gonna use the original hardware because I better decide, better than I decided, it's kinda close to the edge, so I'm gonna move make a new hole. And just line up the holes. We got longer bolts, it works out perfectly. Let's go start drilling. This is how it looks. That one was a fail because I must have made it too out. Now you definitely can see it. So failed that one, but the other two, you can't tell. So that's the goal. All right, let's go to the other side and make this hole big on this side to put the bolts in. That's how it looks when it's on. FB bolts and yes, it's very ugly with the washers. Except for that, the middle one and the end one. The front one's okay, I don't, I don't really see that washer. And I probably sandwiched it with a lock nut or a washer on the top. And it's just a temporary setup because I'm probably going to change this and it's going to be late. I got to sleep early for the show. So, yeah. Probably going to just call it like this like a day. So, I would show you guys what's inside, but I can't because my lens is too big since this is my good lens for the show. So, sorry about that. But I'll show you the other side. So, I'm going to tell you the other side real fast. So here's how they look in the daylight. Not bad. The bolts aren't as bad. This is the side that I prefer, as y'all see. I only have one washer on this end. So you only see like the head of the nut. It's not that bad. On the other side, when I was playing with it, the washers kind of stick out a bit. So I'm just gonna fix that. That's over how I did it. I hope I can see it inside. Let me see if I can get an inside shot. That's how the bolt is on. Just washer. In the nut. And that's it. So tell me what y'all think about it. I'll leave a description where I bought it from down below. Not bad for a DIY paint job as well. Paint's not that bad neither. Gets the job done. Alright, thank you guys for watching again. Hopefully this video was entertaining for y'all. Trying to protect more content for y'all. So so yeah. Thanks for watching again and I appreciate you guys for everything y'all do. And if you have any questions, comment down below or DM me. I'm always happy to help. And I'll see y'all in the next video.